Hi guys, Camilla here and welcome to the first video of 2017. Today I have for you two cards for Valentine's Day, which are very bright and colorful, uh, just the way I like it. The panel for the first card was actually created off camera. I used some thick, smooth watercolor cardstock and a W plus 9 Sunshine Layers die set to die cut my front panel. I then used my Stabilo 68 pens to create the dots on my uh, panel. I went with a rainbow order and as you can see it is not perfect. Some dots at the beginning were bigger, uh, the ones at the bottom smaller, but I just really like how it turned out very beautiful, colorful and handmade. And I think it actually looks like it was knitted, which is pretty cool. And for the second card, I'm using this Nelly's Multi Frames die set. It's uh, got these beautiful rounded edges and it creates dots on the inner and outer side of a die cut panel. And I'll be also using Stabilo 68 pens. And that is why I'm also using a smooth watercolor uh, cardstock, which is very thick. And, but this time, instead of dots, I will be creating lines, uh, also with the rainbow order. And as you can see, I have my uh, ruler here and I put some uh, masking tape on it uh, so that I don't uh, use my markers on my ruler directly. I use some masking uh, paper all over the uh, dotted line on my uh, die cut because uh, I wanted to keep that white. And now I'm just going to continue with my uh, pens. You will see me skip a lot, uh, that's because I didn't realize my head was in the frame a lot. Uh, and so you will see a bit of my uh, funky hair <laughs> in the frame. Uh, and that's just because I wanted to quickly show you how easy that process was, uh, at least a little bit, even though my head is in a shot. I'm really sorry, I didn't realize it only after uh, the filming was done. Um, recently I'm actually really tired so I don't pay attention to details that much. Uh, only later when my husband came in he, he noticed that my head was in the shot so he told me and I was just uh, uh, so tired I couldn't reshoot the whole video. So uh, sorry for that but uh, I'm sure you'll appreciate the outcome and uh, how neat and quick this card came along. So here it is finished. I'm gonna remove all the masking uh, tape, which is my favorite moment. Uh, I really love this white, beautiful frame all around. And on the close-up photos, you will be able to see the dots uh, that are all around, which makes it really cool, because I always like some uh, piercing or stitching all over my die cut panel. So here are the stripes in rainbow order. And now I'm gonna use this uh, lawn foam die set. It's a hard die set and I'm gonna die cut my hearts. Of course, uh, the leftovers, all the colorful hearts, I will use uh, on some other cards, which I will probably post on my Instagram. And this is how the panel will look like with the die cut hearts. And now I'm gonna skip to the first card and continue with that for a bit. Uh, I'm gonna create a card base for this panel and I'm gonna also use the Sunshine Layers die set. But since I wanna create card base, I'm going to lower my, my die frame, as you can uh, see here, so it doesn't cut on the top. And here it is ready. I wanted it to be smaller than uh, the card front, or rather the same size, because I wanted to hide it behind it. I added some uh, foam tape on the back of my card front, and I adhered my card base. And now back to the second card. I'm going to use this uh, corner rounder to round all the corners of my card base. I went with this nice um, neon pink. I wanted the corners of my card base to match my card front and I will also use some double-sided foam tape underneath my front panel to pop it. And now I'm gonna work on my sentiments. I'm using this Templarations beautiful stamp set called love and it's a sentiment builder so there's a few uh, separate words of uh, love and then many additional ones that you have to cut apart yourself as you can see me do now and that you can build sentiments so for this card i went with true love forever and i stamped the love using versafine black onyx ink and i stamped the true but i really didn't like how it almost was invisible on these lines so i'm gonna stamp true and forever on a piece of smooth white uh, cardstock. It's also a watercolor cardstock, the same as a card base, so that the white matches. And I'm gonna cut it out using my scissors. I'm gonna pop them on my uh, double-sided foam tape and adhere them to cover up my mistake. Then 
then I decided to add some white gel pen in the middle of all the hearts so I used it it's uh, my Signo white gel pen I'm gonna list by the way all my supplies that I used in this video in the, uh, my blog post unfortunately lately I don't have time to uh, add it to my um, description down below the video I might do it in the future whenever I will have time and as you can see I'm also adding some clear Wing Castella uh, glitter pen on the hearts uh, for now it looks a little splotchy it will dry out and become sparkly as you can see here on the close-up picture now back to the first card I'm using the same stamp set for the sentiment and I'm gonna stamp love and happiness and I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment on the blue cardstock to stamp my uh, words I'm using Versamark clear sticky ink it's a perfect ink for heat embossing and then I'm going to use some wow uh, white opaque uh, embossing powder to heat emboss it And here is the sentiment. I really love how white pops on this blue cardstock. And I'm gonna use some double-sided foam tape to pop my sentiments on the card front. And that finishes the cards for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and got inspired. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you again soon with a new card making video. Bye!